Why don't you first of all take a look at these, these wonderful standards. And the great thing about common core geometry is that they attempt it to summarize what you need to know in high school geometry. And uh, many of you know we've been, we've been working under an umbrella of proving triangle theorems and proving theorems of congruence. Am I right about that? How many know that? Raise your hand. We've been working on side, angle, side, angle, angle, side. We've been working on HL. We've been looking at the five ways you can tell triangles are congruent. Well, today there are things called special segments that we're concerned about. And these two particular standards address those great segments. There are three things that I want to introduce you today, and that's why I wanted you to have one, two, and three on a piece of paper. First of all, let's take a look at what we need to know quickly by the standard. The first standard is high school geometry standard. And it is number nine, dealing under the umbrella of congruence. Okay? Proof theorem. Everybody see that about lines and angles? Theorems include, now some of this, most of them since it's a summary, that they have summarized the common core standards, then we, we hope to pick out what we're interested in today and addressing out of the standard. But it says vertical lines are congruent. We've looked at that. When the transversal crosses parallel lines, alternate interior angles are congruent. Corresponding angles, I heard the word corresponding today. It's wonderful. Are congruent. But look, Mr. Williams neatly underlined one of the special segments that we're going to be looking at today as part of the standard. Points on a perpendicular bisector of a line segment are exactly equidistant from the segment's end point. And let's look at 10. Just absorb the idea of what the standard is. It's great to know where you need to be and where you're going. That's the purpose of reading the standard. The second standard addresses also a special segment. Okay? Proof theorems about triangles. Oh, that's the great umbrella that we're under. Theorems include measures of inter interior angles of a triangle from the 180. We know that. Base angles of a softly triangle are congruent. The segment joining midpoints of two sides of triangle is parallel to the third side and half the length. We, that's one we may have not explored, but, but neatly I've underlined Special segment we're going to be looking at today, the mediums of a triangle meet at a point. Let's look at these special segments. And, and remember, it's under the umbrella of assisting us in proving triangle congruence and proving the idea of proofs of those of the congruence to triangle. to a friend, how can we prove? Everybody see in the quotation mark? How can you prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that those triangles are congruent? Any actors, everyone get a sheet of triangles. How can we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that those triangles are isosceles triangles. Give you a few minutes to talk to your neighbor, talk to your community, here.
Okay. All eyes up front. How can you prove that these primals are prime? Can anyone take a look? Anyone have any ideas? Yeah. If they what? Okay. How many of you saw the word prove? I want you to do it with beyond a shadow of a doubt. How can I know these are sons of triangle? We heard, we heard the answer. It's also triangle has two sides that are congruent. Yes. Okay, even if we put the tick marks, how do you, how do I know that those triangles are a sons of triangle? They also have congruent, can we, I mean, understand what you're saying, and that's the definition, but I ask you to prove it by the drawing that you have in front of you. Do you mean like with the two column proof? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, now we're talking some things. You could actually get a protractor or a what? Ruler. You can measure them. That's one way of proving that there are possibly triangles. What what else could I do? I'm trying, I'm trying to give someone a hint. Never want to hear that. Talk with a friend, talk with a neighbor. Can you fold this paper in any way to prove? That's the triangles are a saucy triangles. Oh, that was excellent. I like that response. I'm going to give you another opportunity. Give you a few more minutes. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm looking. I, I, this is exciting. I see some people are getting it. We want to know beyond a shadow of a doubt how these triangles are a softy triangle. Some of you, some of you have it already. Let's go with, let's go with number four. Okay, I heard something. You can, you can what? You can fold the paper. What does that tell you about the triangle? Remember we talked about rigid motion? When one triangle is superimposed, one polygon is superimposed on the other, the polygons are what? Congruent. Okay. If you fold the paper, and where do you fold it? Let's look at number four. Where would I create this fold to show beyond a shadow of a doubt that number four is an isosceles triangle? Where? Which, which way? Which way would it fold? The top to the bottom. Number four? No, it'll be side to side. Side to side? Okay, I like that. Uh, this is a vertical line. Isn't it? And if you fold along this vertical line, you can show that one side is congruent or the same as the what? You can show beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's why Mr. Williams said prove. Now, the ruler idea, we've done it. But also, without a ruler, you could create a fold. And fold from left to what? Right. Along this vertical line. Who can tell me what this vertical line is called? Yeah. Axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. That's a good one. Uh, uh, what else? Diagonal. Diagonal? No, that's not a diagonal. Oh, who heard that? 
It's an auxiliary line that is also a what? A bisector. What do you know about bisectors? They bisect. What else do they do? What does it create? <laughs> Two congruent what? Sides. Excellent. Excellent. Let's look at number three. Who did some folding in number three? Okay, where, where does the fold occur, sir? The show beyond the shadow of a doubt that that is a sausage triangle. What'd you do? Did everybody see? What is your fold? He, I think he got it right. Is it, is it, is it this way? Yeah. It's what way? Is it? It's left to right. If you fold along, this is called an auxiliary line. I like, I like that. I like the axis of symmetry. That was extremely good because you fold it. If you fold it this way, you get two sides that are one. How about number two? Which way did you fold it? Top to bottom, left to right? Left to right. It went left to right. There's our filling line. Okay. Create a bicep. Excellent. How about number one? Where'd you draw? Where'd you what'd you fold? What did you discover about number one? It's what? He's shaking. He, he got, it's, it's not a what? It is not. If you fold it, you will not get any sides that are congruent. Okay? It is not. In capital S-T-E-L-E-S. What is it called? What kind of triangle is it? Excellent, excellent job. What have we found out? What, 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 have, what have you found out by doing this? What, let me ask you a question, another question. By doing the folding, not only did we see that two sides were congruent. What else did we determine was congruent with our folding exercise? Yeah, like that we didn't need to take That may be a good thing. I'm, I'm thinking about something else. I'm talking about the labeling. When we felt when we folded, that we saw that one side was just as long as the other side. We also saw what about the angles? I love that. The angles also were what? We're talking about the isosceles triangle theorem. And I want you to give me some idea of what I'm talking about. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, what does that say about the angle? They're corresponding or what are they? Now I want you to I want you to notice something. This side is congruent to that side. This angle is opposite that side. This angle is opposite that side. So if you have a isosceles triangle and the sides are congruent, a triangle and it has sides that are congruent, what, is, what does that mean? What does that say about the angles that are opposite? Okay, we'll write it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start writing it. I want you to finish it for me. Okay? 
You need to write this down. Thank you. 